Hello everybody, welcome back to Analyzing Flags! Because that's what this series is called now. Though, it could also be called something else. It's up to you to make up a better name for it, in your mind. What am I talking about? It's late, alright? I just like got off a six hour session of Shadowrun, which was good fun. Almost killed one of my player characters. And yeah, it's uh, Sunday evening and uh, I'm going to relax now in front of the PC. Looking at some flags. We left off last time around with Kyrgyzstan, which has a pretty interesting looking flag. Moving on, immediately we have Laos, which has an all right flag. It's not bad, it's not bad at all. Uh, the uh, screen isn't centered, this is giving me uh, a panic attack. That looks slightly more centered. Uh, good. Uh, it's not terrible, though it kind of looks like I'm staring at the top of a piece of Lego or something. There's some kind of weird optical illusion going on where it looks like I'm staring at a tunnel or like a, a square with the sides. I don't know. It's not very good, is it? It's not terrible either. The colors aren't all that bad. There's just something about it that isn't very appealing to me. Maybe if the circle was off-center it would be better. I can't quite tell why I don't like this flag so much, but I don't. It's alright, but eh. Latvia. Alright. White, red, solid colors. Interesting choice of having the stripes looking uh, a bit different like that. Uh, it's um, it's symmetrical, I guess, but it's also asymmetrical because the, the, there's differences in the sizes of the stripes. I like this flag a lot, though it's worth pointing out that uh, comparing it to uh, this flag right here it is very small oh shit you can't see my my beautiful you can't see my beautiful drawing man i should have set this up in advance but fuck it i don't give a shit right so that's the edges of a normal sized flag it is very skinny um but i think it looks good in this one i like it a lot actually uh, yeah, Latvia's flag, it's uh, it's solid. Obviously very simplistic, but I like it a lot. Lebanon! There's a cedar tree? I think it's a cedar tree? It's nowhere near as nice as Canada's maple leaf, but it's also not terrible. The uh, color choices here are alright. White, orange and green. Yeah, they're alright. This is an alright flag. I do like the fact that the tree, which I believe is a cedar tree, fills up the entirety of the white field. There's something about it that makes it quite interesting. Um, yeah, it's an alright looking flag. That's pretty much all I can say about it. <laughs> Lesotho! Lesotho? Uh, <laughs> uh, can I just double check that I didn't accidentally... Like, somebody didn't accidentally put in, like, a flag from StarCraft 2 or something in here? Lesotho, is it, is it a real place? Uh, it is. It's a place in Africa. Okay. This is... Oh, Wikipedia has a different flag. Interesting. Maybe this is a joke then. Okay, this flag was flown between 87 and 2006. I can uh, see why they changed. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? it? It literally is like some... It's like a faceless guy from Warcraft or something. I mean, obviously. It's got his hands and his legs and it's like face, it's cone head looking thing going on there. It's uh, it's very interesting. Here's the uh, updated flag. Uh, the modern flag of Lesotho. Which is actually very nice. I can't quite tell what that thing in the middle is. It looks kind of like... Uh, a torture device out of saw, <laughs> like something you'd strap on the to the head of somebody, like with a face mask and then like some kind of saw teeth that would activate once the timer goes down. You want to play a little game and so on. Uh, but uh, it's a very nice solid design there in the middle. Uh, I like the silhouette. The colors also go well together. Uh, so yeah, the current Lesotho flag, nice. This thing, their historical flag. Uh, <laughs> I. Uh -huh. What is this, honestly? I mean, 
I genuinely do not understand what this is. The first plague of Lesotho. Da, 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 da. Following a military coup. A light brown traditional Basotho shield along with an, a lance and a club. That's a shield? You fucking what, mate? Ah, oh, look at that. Their coat of arms actually makes it make some amount of sense. That's how... That's the shape. Oh, yeah, with that, those bits of extra detail on there. It makes some sense. Uh, <laughs> I can't help but thinking that still looks uh, an awful lot like some kind of enemy out of uh, StarCraft or something. My life for ire. Uh, obviously, this flag that we're looking at is just incredibly ugly. It's also got... Uh, Ugly asymmetry with the um, size of the white field compared to the green field. No, this is a disaster. I'm glad they changed. Liberia. It is quite ugly. It's like somebody took the Chile flag or the Texas flag and added too many stripes to it. Uh, there's not really all that much else to say about it. Color combination is nice. Uh, it's prettier than the American flag, but that's not saying much. Moving on. Libya! Their old flag, I believe. Let me... Uh, I believe they have changed it right now. Yeah, they have. That's a shame. Because the flag we're watching right now is the best. Like, honestly, it's genius. Single solid color. What else could you ask for in terms of cleanliness in design? It's also green, the color of Islam. It's good. It's the Prophet's favorite color. I like it a lot, though, uh, to be fair, the uh, modern flag of Libya is also very nice. I do like those combination of colors they got going on there. They got the clean design with the crescent and the star in the middle. Kind of the same symbol as on Turkey's flag. Yeah, both uh, the flags of Libya are great. Though, I think I prefer this one, the green one. The green one is beautiful, man. And I'm not even trolling. I think this is a great flag. It's the only country that has a single color, I think. And it's smart. It works well. I mean, you see a, a whole field of green and it's like, oh yeah, that's Libya. Sure, sure it is. Liechtenstein. Lich Liechtenstein, whatever. Uh, this is disastrously ugly. Those colors go well together, uh, but I don't like them when they're so close to each other. Um, I like it a lot more when they're in a pattern which is more spaced out like that. The crown is uh, horrendous. It's creating uh, white, uh, no, white. I am very tired. Yellow and blue, which is ugly. Uh, and uh, it has uh, like the black part of it, which adds an extra unnecessary color. The crown also is not <laughs> in the corner properly. It's it's off center somehow. Uh, yeah, Liechtenstein, you're not a really a real country, are you? Um, this flag isn't really helping your case. Lithuania. So boring tricolor. Looks like it's from Africa somewhere. Just because it has those three colors on it. Uh, not really much else to say about it. It's also uh, skinny like some other flags. It's not terrible. It's alright. Kind of boring. It represents Lithuania fairly well. Luxembourg. Okay, is this not just the flag of Amsterdam or something? No, Amsterdam. What am I saying? Of uh, the Netherlands. Uh, yes, yes, indeed it is. It is the flag of Netherlands with a uh, very slight uh, variation in color. Both the red and the blue appear to be slightly uh, brighter. That's not allowed. You can't have the same flag as another country. What? What is this, Luxembourg? I know you're not a real country. I know. I know you're just like a one of those like retarded uh, legal entity zones. But come on, what is this? <laughs> Please make up your own flag. Macau. Hmm. Now that's that's fucking neat. The half circle of stars here look really good. And this, I guess, it's a um. 
lotus blossom, maybe? Uh, some sort of flower at least. And then these weird geometric shapes, they look like maybe ripples in the water or something. I don't know. I like this flag a lot. The uh, yellow and green work together quite well. Maybe the stars could have been white uh, or the central design uh, yellow, but it's not necessary. I quite like it this way. It's very uh, striking. It's nice. It's one of the better use of stars, I think. It, it really like frames the central design here. And uh, it's a very strong silhouette. I like it a lot. Macedonia. Uh, this is like the old flag of Japan. Uh, well, it has less stripes. It's the sun against a red background. Um, yeah, it's all right. It's okay. There's something to live for. Jesus told me so. But you know, it's not great though, is it? It really isn't great. One of the things that annoy me, uh, at least in this rendition, is that these two sun rays, uh, let's see if I can find the pen again, aren't actually hitting the corner. Whereas these two are hitting the corner. What's up with that? Why aren't they in the same shape? Why isn't the flag mirrored around its middle? Like, uh, that's very irritating. I wonder if it's just the rendition I have. I've noticed, by the way, that the pack of flags I downloaded that I'm going through, a lot of them are quite inaccurate. And as you could tell, like I had the old Libya flag, stuff like that. But I'm judging by what I'm seeing and not what the actual flag is. Uh, though feel free to point out in the comments where um, the flag I'm using is wrong. Uh, there's been a few occasions where, uh, yeah, the flag uh, just isn't the same flag or isn't the right flag or there's something terribly off about it. Uh, but yeah, um, the fact that it isn't symmetrical around its own center uh, is really bothering me, which makes this flag quite ugly. Otherwise, red and yellow work together well. It's very, uh, it's a striking pattern. It feels like it comes out towards you. I'm not too sure I like the, uh, the outline around the sun. These rays could just go straight into it, I guess, but whatever. Um, yeah, if they fix the, uh, the asymmetry going on there, it would be a pretty good flag. But currently it's pretty much unwatchably ugly uh, because of that asymmetry. Mad Agask R. Uh, closing up all them ports. This is uh, very ugly. It's like three stacks of, well, three rectangles. <laughs> I don't know what I was going for. Uh, the colors just make a mess of things. Red and green, yeah, sure, whatever. They're uh, not complementary colors. Is that what it's called? Whatever they are. They're on the opposite sides of the fucking color wheel. Uh, and they should go together, but they just don't for me. Not when they're like this. And the big thing of white here it just looks like the flag is unfinished or something. I don't like this one at all. Malawi. Malawi. Uh, this is interesting. You know, if you remove the green stripe here at the bottom, just, just black it all out, black it all out, black it all out. And pretend like only the top part here is the flag. That's a fucking sweet ass flag. Like seriously, super solid design, two colors, fucking amazing. But they had to go and put all that green shit at the bottom, didn't they? The green shit at the bottom ruins this flag. I mean, even if they just extend the red field downwards, just put more red down there, it would look a lot better uh, than it currently does, uh, in my opinion. Just, okay, this is the wrong color red, but... Even that would look a lot better than uh, what it currently is. Yeah, uh, if it wasn't for that ugly shit going on down there, this would be a very beautiful flag. I would like it a lot. This design is really fucking solid. The fact that it used the same color as the red stripe here is very fucking solid. Red and black go great together. Yeah, it's a very good flag ruined by the fact that they had to go and add green to it. With the fact that it has green on it, it's it's just a tricolor with a, a design at, on the top. I mean, without that, it would be cool. With it, it's meh. Oh. Malaysia. Is that truly orange? <laughs> this is like... Someone took the American flag 
and didn't elect Donald Trump. And the country continued going in the direction it is currently going, with more and more Muslims flooding in. Sharia law takes effect and they changed the flag to this, putting the uh, the Muslim crescent and star uh, instead of the bunch of stars of the American flag. <laughs> Build a wall, Trump 2012, vote Trump. Yeah, this is this is a disastrously ugly mess of a flag. It is unredeemably ugly. I can't believe that's actually orange rather than red, but it is, I guess. I mean, unless my monitor is not <laughs> adjusted correctly. This is clearly red. This is clearly orange or a very ugly white, white, light red. Uh, yeah, uh, the fact that it also has uh, blue and yellow in the corner. I mean, if you only took this thing and made it its own flag, this bit in the corner, it would be ugly because this star has too many points. Uh, but if you used a regular five-pointed star, it would be all right. Uh, but then you put it inside this mess of stripes, it becomes really ugly. There's too many colors and they all clash together. Poor showing, Malaysia. The Maldives. Mal Maldives? Maldives? Maldives. Um, it's, again, somebody took a pretty good flag here in the middle and decided to add a bunch of extra shit to it. Look at the size of this frame. Uh, a border, rather. I do like a border on my flags, to be honest. Uh, very few flags do it. Uh, this is not done well. If this was smaller and made white, so it only had two colors, the green and the white, I think it would look pretty good. But as it is, uh, no, thank you. Uh, it really does look like somebody has taken a flag and just captured it. Like, just put this shit around it somehow to keep it in place. No, not very beautiful at all. Mali, a very boring tricolor. Uh, is this the same colors as Lithuania? Uh, yeah. I guess so. Yellow, green, red. Yellow, green, red. All right, Mali stole the flag from Lithuania, clearly. Though they're in a different order, whatever. Uh, it's pretty boring, pretty ugly. Malta. It has a um, very detailed uh, cross thing going on over there. Oh, Jeebus. Oh yeah, I'm using flags as my fucking background now. That's how obsessed about this shit I've gotten. Come on now. Why isn't it letting me? Okay, there you go. I can't quite make out what that's supposed to be. Let's look on the Wikipedia. The wiki, 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 Wikipedia. Malta flag. Oh my god. It looks way different on the Wikipad. Uh, please. For gallantry. It's a guy killing a dragon, eh? Oh my god. It's a guy killing a dragon. Uh, it looks disastrously ugly on this uh, Wikipedia rendition of the flag. On the one I have, though, it looks better. For some reason, it's just less detailed or something. Uh, again, this is like the god tier color combination, which is nice. The cross is too detailed. Um, I do love the fact that they got a guy killing a dragon on it. That's cool as shit. But, uh, nah. It doesn't work. Marshall Islands. At least there's no fucking Union flag on it. It's not terrible. It's kind of interesting. It looks like a brand of toothpaste or something like that. <laughs> like you just tried Colgate uh, along the bottom here and you got yourself a fucking corporate logo. Not great for a, uh, a flag, I guess. But uh, somehow it isn't awful. Hey, don't do that. Moving on, uh, France, haha, <laughs> I'm just kidding, this is Martinique, uh, <laughs> okay, it's literally the flag of France, I'm switching between them right now, it is a copy, okay, uh, what is Martinique, it's a little island somewhere, did they just decide to keep the French flag when they left? Oh, look, they have changed their flag. Holy shit, they've changed their flag. Oh, my God. <laughs> Martinique is a region of France. 
Oh? <laughs> the snake flag has no official status. Dude, check out this snake flag though. I don't give a shit if it's got an official status or not. Don't tread on me times four, motherfucker. This is so cool. <laughs> Why aren't they using that flag? Uh, I, I don't know what uh, Martinique is. Uh, uh, let's let's take a quick gander here. It's an insular region of France located in the Lesser Antilles in the Eastern Caribbean Sea. Uh huh. Governance. Together with Guadeloupe and French Guinea, Martinique is one of the overseas departments of France. Okay, so Martinique is a um, nation, <laughs> as far as having its own flag is concerned. But Scotland, England, fuck you guys. Mauritania. Yeah, I don't know why the moon is forming a cyclops smiley face. This is creeping me out, dude. This is literally a fucking cyclops smiley face staring at me right now. With, like, laser beams coming out of its eye. I gotta move on. This is, this is tripping me up, dude. Mauritius. Mauritius? Mauritius? Uh, really ugly colors. Doesn't mix together well at all. Let's move on. Mexico! The flag of Mexico has a fucking eagle on it? You what, mate? I thought the... F I thought... I did... Yes, it does. It very much does. Holy shit. It's an eagle sitting on top of a um, cactus. It's uh, it's garbage. It's way too detailed. It looks even worse when it's like uber detailed like this one is. Who the fuck is going to put that on a flag? Look at all the... It's like got shading and stuff. I mean, the design itself is actually kind of nice. It doesn't look terrible. It's eating a, a snake, apparently. Uh, it's eating the flag of... Uh, Ma Ma Mauricio? No? Mauritania? No? What was it? The French flag? Whatever. But yeah, it's disastrously ugly. Um, also, wh what is this? Is this Italy? I... Uh, think so. Yes. Yes, it is Italy. Another fucking country what copied Italy's flag and just put a, an eagle on top of it. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's far uglier than Italy's flag. Yeah, let's move on. Um, vote Trump as a reminder. Micronesia. Uh, interesting design with uh, two colors striking, forming a diamond shape with the stars. I like this a lot. Um, all the stars are angled outwards, um, creating sort of the illusion of uh, a diamond inside here. Uh, if you look like you imagine tracing imaginary lines between the tips of the stars like this, it does create the diamond shape, uh, which is really cool. Yeah, it's good. Two colors that work great together. Micronesia, nice work. Moldova. Um, okay. It's an eagle with a cross in its mouth, carrying a shield with a like a bison or a bull or something, and then it's carrying like a, a sprig of some herb uh, or something, and uh, a scepter, and it's all melting into the background because of the fact that it's using the same color. Now this is this is incredibly ugly, Moldova, like very very ugly. Oh shit. <sighs> I apologize. I'm getting tired. Maybe I should turn this into an ASMR video so you guys can go to sleep alongside with me. Let's just be really creepy and whisper about how ugly the flag of Moldova is. Then I gotta have some kind of repetitious sound going on. Like the sound of me typing. Are you getting tingles yet? <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, Moldova, no. Uh, very ugly. I mean, the design just doesn't work at all. The design, it just doesn't work at all. Monaco! Uh, the red here is a bit off-color, which makes this look less, uh, less cool. Uh, oi. Less cool compared to... What was it that had this kind of design on it? 
gosh darn it. Well, okay, it's not the one I had in mind, but then Austria. Like, it's got the same colors, but Austria has got that strong dark red. Whereas Monaco is like, orange! Uh, yeah, no, it looks terrible. The, the, the orange here is just not working. Speaking of orange just not working, Mongolia. This is the first flag I've seen that doesn't have white as white. Why does it have this off-white thing? Is it supposed to be silver? Maybe? It could be kind of cool. This design here in the corner is uh, is actually really baller. I like it a lot. Um, it's interesting. It's got that Taoism symbolism going on there. Uh, if it was just this on a, fly, uh, on a field of orange, it would be quite nice, I think. But this gray silver background uh, it doesn't work at all again you isolate the good flag here and discard the rest and uh, Mongolia would have a decent flag Montserrat oh my god it's another it's another it's another saint oh ooh, we gotta read about the history of this shit Montserrat it's really Montserrat because it sounds French uh, okay, let's see. What is the... The arms feature Erin, the female per per personification of Ireland, and the golden harp, another symbol of Ireland. This reflects the colony's Irish heritage. Oh, that's not a saint. That's just Ireland. Oh, gay! Uh, obviously the flag is disastrously ugly. Moving on. Monaco! Wait. No. Morocco! God, I'm tired. Another uh, pentagram. This one uh, makes my eyes water. The, uh, the sharp contrast between the green and the red don't work at all. Though I'm glad to see we have more than one country with a uh, pentagram symbol on it. Because the pentagram is, uh, is really beautiful. Like paganism uh, connections aside, obviously. Yeah, this flag doesn't work at all. If that was white or black, this would be a good flag. Being green, eh, I can't stand to look at it. Mozambique, you motherfuckers. You've gone and done it, haven't you? I don't know how they did it, but this flag is amazing. I bet you weren't expecting that. This is such a cool flag. I mean, it's a disaster, isn't it? It's a mess. It's a mess. It's not winning anymore. But look, they did something like they, they did something right. I don't know why. I do like the triangle, the collection of colors. Like if we ignore the triangle and just look at the colors, they don't really work together. And then you add more stuff to it. And it starts working together somehow. The fact that they have an AK-47 with a bayonet uh, and a uh, flail or treasure, whatever they're called, like what for harvesting grains, uh, across a book. And uh, it's all on a uh, yellow star and a red background, a la communism. There's just something about this that's so cool. Like, this symbol itself, it's like, it's representing the soldiery, the working class, and, like, scholars. All under, like, combined into the symbol of communism. I have no idea if Mozambique is actually, like, a socialist communist country. Um, but, I mean, that symbol is just so fucking cool. It's like the hammer and sickle kind of thing, but put into a, a more modern context. With the fucking AK and the flail. <clears throat> it's cool as fuck in the book. I don't know. I like I like the symbol so much that I think it redeems the entirety of this flag. Because, let's be honest, these colors are a mess. Like, uh, the way they work together, it's messy as fuck. I do like the fact that the white is represented on the book. The uh, yellow on the star and the black on the, the gun. The green uh, got left out. What a shame. Myanmar has a cogwheel surrounded by stars and inside the cogwheel is a thing of wheat or corn or something. 
they've done it again. They have a good flag here and then they decided to surround it with fucking red. Like, just take this. Just this. This is your flag. Like, just this right here. This is the flag. That's a cool fucking flag. It's striking, it's got a cool design, it's got the gear and the weight, it's like represents something about the heritage of the country, I'm sure. Like industry and farming, that kind of stuff. And bleh, let's drown it out in red because fuck you guys. Let's make it tiny, put it in the corner like some kind of union flag bollocks. Oh, Myanmar, why did you do this to me? Though, still, I can't hate this flag, because that symbol is really fucking cool. Namibia. Um... Yeah. Fuck. Stop yawning, buddy. Uh, this is not very nice. It's a, it's a hodgepodge of colors. Stripes that don't go together in any way whatsoever. A, a strangely ugly sun that seems to be off-center on the yellow-blue field thing going on again. Nah, I don't like anything about this flag. Moving on. Nauru. 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 <sighs> what the fuck is this? Honestly. What is it supposed to be? I don't... Why is the... Oh, fuck. <sighs> I'm so sorry, guys. I shouldn't be yawning. But my own ASMR is making me sleepy. Maybe we should all just go to bed. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I, I don't understand this whatsoever. It just looks off. There, You can get away with having a design that isn't aligned to the grid or whatever you want to call it. But this isn't how you do it. On top of that, the colors are ugly together uh, for the most part. Uh, no, no. You remove that star looking thing and you have a kind of decent flag. Not great, but it would be kind of decent. You add that star thing off centered like that, then nah, it doesn't work. Nepal. Um, this is not a flag. It does not qualify as a flag. I don't know what this mess of shit is, but it's not a flag. You're not allowed to have this shape on your flag. This is not an allowable shape of a flag. Stop doing this. And stop pretending you're a real country. Just be consumed into China already, for fuck's sake. Ugh. Netherlands. It's a very good tricolor. Solid colors. Though um, it does use the Slavic colors, despite not being a Slavic country. That's a little bit uh, cheeky of you, Netherlands, pretending you're Poland or something. Uh, but yeah, very good combination of colors. Moving on. Netherlands Antilles. That's a region in France. I learned this because there was a different thing where that thing was the thing. I love this flag. I really do. Uh, I think that the, uh, the shape of these stars is way better. I discussed this at some other point on some other flag that placing the stars in a more interesting pattern would improve that flag immensely. This is a good example of how you improve a, the placement of five stars. Um, the colors are very beautiful together. Uh, it's again the, the the same Netherlands colors. Obviously, uh, they've took and they took them and made a remix of them. Added some stars to it. I'm sure that the the shape of the stars has some symbolism as well. I quite like it, though I can't unsee the fact that they just spell out the W. But whatever. Uh, Netherlands and Antilles, Antilles, uh, whatever. It's a nice flag. New Zealand. This is, without a doubt, the ugliest flag in the world. No, okay, it isn't. It, it isn't. But uh, it's, it's quite close to it. <laughs> um, the flag of the Virgin Islands is far superior to this one. Because at least that one makes you go like, Huh? What the fuck? What's with the 11,000 virgins? Who's that lady with the lamps? 
this just makes you go, huh? What the fuck? How did this make it past committee? Wait, they're seriously printing like thousands of these every year? Huh? New Zealand? Is that not a real country? Huh? Aren't there people living there? What? Why are they actually being represented by this thing? Huh? How is this allowed to happen? This is so ugly. It is so ugly. Why New Zealand? Why? I mean the flag of Australia is ugly. It's ugly. It's very ugly. But this is so much worse. What is going on with those stars? Why is... Oh my god, New Zealand, please change your flag already. I know you were about to. Come on. Stop this nonsense. The Union flag in the corner as well. Ugh. Nicaragua. Republica de Nicaragua, America Central. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to go to Wikipedia again to see what exactly is going on here. Nicaragua is an interesting name to say. Um, though pointing out, worth pointing out immediately uh, the fact that uh, this is clearly the, the um, all-seeing eye. Um, inside of the pyramid, like Illuminati confirmed here. Uh, that is fuck. I gotta wrap this up after, and I'm sorry for subjecting you to so many uh, yawns. Uh, this isn't really helping at all. Uh, hey, where is it? Uh, there it is. Oh, it's a volcano erupting, I guess. But that, or I don't know. <laughs> There's a fucking rainbow in there. Uh, it's really ugly. The fact that you printed the name of your country is really bad. But then you decided to print which continent it belongs to. I mean, did you really have to? Fucking hell, guys. I can't stop yawning. I'm terribly sorry. Please forgive me. Why did they do this? Why? It has so many colors. There's so many things going on. Every single pixel is just so filled with shit. Because, I mean, if you look at the flag otherwise, it's very solid. White and blue together. Very nice. Especially a nice deep dark blue like this. But then, you had this shit. Not enough to write the name of the country. You had to specify where it is. Are you sure you couldn't fit Earth in there as well somewhere? NIGGER! This... The flag of nigger is, is really ugly. Um, the circle is just so small. This, it looks it looks wrong somehow, and obviously the colors don't go together particularly well either. Oh fuck! <sighs> I think whispering actually kept me from yawning for a bit, but I'll stop subjecting you guys to that. Uh yeah, this this flag here of nigger, um, it is just um, not very pretty. It's got that orange going on again. I don't think there's many flags with orange that work particularly well. And this is not an exception. It does not work particularly well. Uh, Nigeria. It's got some real funky colors going on. I don't hate it. But I also don't love it. Uh, the proportions. I don't know why they went for the Irish style of designing a flag. Where they just make it really squashed. Uh, it doesn't look as good as like a proper uh, design like this one or or this one, whatever. Um, it just makes the fields look weirdly squashed because I guess if every single flag looked like this, it would be normal. 
but since most flags are taller, it makes these flags look squashed. Uh, I think it has an interesting green. The green is uh, not something you see on a lot of flags, not this type of green at least. Um, comparing it to the Italian, uh, it's I guess a little bit darker, a little bit duller. I, I like the colors, the colors are nice. Uh, I don't like that it's squashed. The, the flag of Nigeria is also not uh, all that great. And then we have the flag of New. New. N-Y-U-E. New. Yeah, I am... Uh... I, I'm... I don't know, man. I don't actually hate this. It's almost like they defaced the Union flag. Like, on purpose. Like, played a prank on it, bro. It's just a prank. We didn't actually put the Union flag there. Because we put a bunch of stars on it. That'll show those... English tossers, or whatever. Um, again, though, obviously, it's like a... It's, it's a good flag, kind of... Surrounded by a border of useless garbage. If you just take this and stretch it out, covering the entire flag, I don't hate it. It's a kind of a nice remix of the the Union flag. I gotta say, um, it's probably not better than the original Union flag, uh, but it's not terrible. Though um, I do quite hate the fact that the stars aren't um, aligned. It would be nicer if they were pointing away from the middle. But uh, yeah, minor minor gripe. Norfolk Islands. Okay, um, it looks better than the cedar tree of Lebanon. It looks a lot worse than the maple leaf of Canada. It's kind of using that same color uh, as uh, Nigeria. Mm, yeah, it's not quite the same color as Nigeria, but quite similar. Uh, Norfolk Islands, that sounds like a British colony, like a British overseas territory, and it doesn't have a Union flag, which immediately makes it, uh, like, get a better grade, whatever, it makes it a lot more appealing. The, uh, the tree itself, uh, let me look up the, the Wikiped, uh, version of this. Uh, see if their silhouette is any different. Uh, nope, it is not. Okay, I don't know why it's tiny, uh, but no, it's it's roughly the same. Um, so it isn't just this rendition that looks a little bit janky. Uh, overall, you could have picked a nicer tree. <laughs> I'm sure this specific tree is important to you, uh, Norfolk's, for whatever reason, but uh, it's not the greatest thing to put on your flag, is it? North motherfucking Korea. I want this on my wall. I fucking love this flag so much. It combines so many just incredibly aesthetically pleasing design elements into one. It's got three solid ass fucking colors. It's got that thing where they're putting like the white borders between the uh, the two colors that would otherwise look too garish together somehow. The fact that they're separated by the stripe of white makes them just not clash. They make them go together very well. Then the star isn't actually a star, but it's a it's a um, it's a white circle with a hole cut into it. The way I see it, basically, like they haven't put a red star inside the red field because obviously that wouldn't show. Instead, they put the white circle with the silhouette of a star cut through it. Uh, it's off center, which makes the flag stand out more. If it was centered, this flag wouldn't be nearly as good. But I'm not sure why. Um, but this flag is is honestly just incredibly solid. The uh, Democratic People's Republic of Korea know what the fuck they're doing. Uh, as opposed to the other Korea. Which invented J-pop. I mean... Okay. You got like forced labor camps. You got a, basically a dictatorship. Um, brainwashing, that kind of stuff. People are starving. Okay, sure, that's not nice, but on the other hand, have you seen their flag? It's awesome! I mean... Okay. I mean, I'm gonna do it. This flag, man, it's just... Kim Jong unbelievable. 
Norway <laughs> is uh, using the same colors as North Korea. Coincidence? I think not. You fucking quizlings. I know what you did during World War II, you fuckers. Anyway, uh, as far as the Scandinavian cross flags go, the Norwegian one is good. The colors work well together. It does that thing again where it puts a border between the red and the uh, blue, which make them less garish. Um, the cross is, is beautiful. Uh, yeah, Norway's flag, uh, it's, it's all right. It's all right. And that's it for end, guys. I would continue for a bit, but no. Uh, I don't want to subject you guys to any more yawning. Because I don't think it's very nice. I would totally stop it if I could. But I can't. So we'll end it here today, guys. Uh, I don't know what came over me just then. I apologize. No, I don't. Fuck you. Motherfuckers. All right. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll continue on with uh, O in the next video. And keep those comments coming. Um, I really like reading them. And so, yeah, thanks for watching or listening or whatever you have been doing. I hope you're having a uh, pleasant evening, morning, afternoon, day. Extra timer? E extra space-time experience? I don't know what I'm talking about. How do you say outside of time? How do you say time in Latin? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, I'll stop now. Bye-bye, guys. See you next time. I thought I said I'd stop. Okay, I'm stopping now.